full. How can you just shoot a pregnant mother? One shot, back of the head. You know, many ranchers would be mighty grateful for me to put her away. Yeah, Kill but... two birds, maybe five, with one stone. Look, that's not what I meant. You're not going to shoot her, Look, all right? Dylan, we can't Dad, just... Dad, come do... on! I suppose there's always the wolf lady. Careful, though. They're not dogs, especially the wild ones. I told them they were dangerous. Well, depends on what you mean by dangerous. There's no documented case of anyone ever being killed by a wild wolf in this country. Wolves are afraid of humans. Well, they have every right to be. These two bozos were going to shoot her. Yeah, well, most of the time, I don't have a lot of trust in humans myself. Hi, I'm Amanda Lewis. Dylan Hawkins. This is my dad. Uh, Johnny Hawkins. And the, this is Terry. Terry's cool. He came around on the air. Yeah, thanks for coming around. Yeah, can you hand her to me? Dylan's yeah. definitely the man of the hour here. Oh, the truck's in the garage. Pardon me? The truck? It's in the garage. What truck? The one that won't turn over? Why don't we get the feeling I'm missing something here? Because I forgot to tell you something. See, when I called her on the phone, she said that she couldn't come get the wolf because her truck broke down, so I said well, we would bring the wolf to her and you'd fix her truck. What? Well, when you work on the motorcycle, you always say, I can fix anything. Dylan. <laughs> That's just something that guys say when they, when they... You can't fix it? I can fix anything. I wrapped antibiotics in the hamburger. We don't want her to get infected. Let her sleep. Leave her alone. She's gonna deliver any day now. Have you thought of a name for her yet? Oh, man. Madonna? Sleep well, Madonna. Hey, come on. Come on. Get away from there. Sherman, come on, go play. Dylan, when you don't know a wolf, it's not a good idea to look them in the eye. Why is that? They feel threatened. This is Rio. Coda over there found Rio last winter, nearly frozen to death. She had scabies, she'd lost all her fur too emaciated to hunt. So I captured her in a net, and I brought her back here. Mm. Now Dakota's going to be sad, because it's time to reintroduce Rio to the wild. We can't keep her forever, Dakota. Take the truck into town tomorrow to get some stuff. Do you think you can get it running by then? Whoa, I'm impressed. Good. Are you aware that you're staring? Oh, uh, sorry. When wolves stare, it's a sign of hostility. It precedes attack. Not my intention, I assure you. Dinner's in an hour. Oh, sit. Sit. So where are you two going? We're headed west. Any particular destination? No, my son really. and I are taking some time together. Huh. Well, if you don't want to get on the road tonight, 
there's nobody in the caretaker's trailer, you and Dylan could sleep there. Well, thank you very to. much. But maybe we can stay a couple of days, help her out. Like I always say, work builds character. That's very generous. Well, you know what? Maybe you could fence in a place for Madonna to build a den for her pups. No problem. Of course, I couldn't pay you very much. Oh, that's no big deal. Dylan saved an alpha wolf. Most wolves don't mate. It's usually just the dominant ones. And now that they're endangered, what you did is very important, Dylan. This is good. You're staring again. I got it. I, I knew I knew her from somewhere. Commercials, right? Uh, magazine covers. Yes. See, huh? So what are you doing in Montana with wolves? Well, one day I was on the Cote d'Azur on a shoot in a leopard coat, holding a leopard on a leash. And I said, there's something wrong with this. And then I came here on a commercial, and it was like coming home. I belong here. I want to die here. So, what's your story? I'm the deputy district attorney, city of New York. I battle crime and corruption. I keep Park Avenue safe for the rich. I protect the poor from assault, theft, murder, and mayhem. I'm dedicated to the well-being of little old ladies and beautiful women. Basically, it puts people behind bars. I put criminals behind bars. Whatever. Is there a Mrs. Hawkins? She died about 10 years ago. I'm sorry. Well, that's no big deal. He's got hundreds of girlfriends. For the record, pal, I didn't appreciate the remark about a hundred girlfriends. It's the truth. Dylan, lesson number one, when it comes to women, honesty is not always the best policy. That woman sure is a piece of work. The world is in transition. The defining challenge of the 90s is to win the economic competition, to win the peace. We must be a military superpower, an economic superpower, and an export superpower. In this election, you'll hear two versions of how to do this. Theirs is to look inward. Ours is to look forward. Prepare our people to compete, to save and invest so we can win. Here's what I'm fighting for. Open markets for American products, lower government spending, tax relief, opportunities for small business.